Saudi Krab, welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mistanza, and it's Monday, May 21st. This weekend, the Phuket News put up a poll asking you, should marijuana be made legal in Thailand? Last week, officials made the research into the effects of medicinal cannabis on humans legal. It comes as other countries allowed regular medical use of marijuana, which has blown wide open the debate of legalization. Cast your vote on the PhuketNews.com. Now here's the news you need to know. Marine officials say they will continue to search for another five days for the whale shark widely seen on video strung up on a fishing boat between Kohe and Koracha, south of Phuket, last Friday. It's still unclear whether the whale shark was dead or alive when it was put back into the sea as the animal is listed as endangered and Thailand bans all fishing on whale sharks. The video was widely shared on social media last Friday, prompting the Royal Thai Navy to search for the boat with a reporter from the Phuket News aboard the ship. And it was believed that the whale shark was dead when it was eventually released back into the sea, according to reports. Officials have already identified the vessel and the captain of the boat was taken to Chalong Police Station for questioning. And the Department of Fisheries, along with marine officials, are looking into whether to charge him for the incident. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. So far, initial reports say a few people have been hurt in a series of violent attacks in the three southern border provinces yesterday, most of which involved explosives. Four bombs went off in four separate districts in Yala province alone yesterday within a 40-minute period, all between 6.50 p.m. and 7.30 p.m., including at an ATM machine, a power pole, and a parking lot. No injuries were reported in any of these attacks. In Naratiwa province, meanwhile, witnesses say they suspected the bombers had dressed as women and wore helmets to cover their faces when leaving explosives at several locations, including an ATM machine. While in Patani province, bombs exploded at several banks, a paramilitary ranger and two women were hurt in one of those attacks. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. While pro-election activists prepare for their planned gathering at Tamasa University this week to mark the fourth anniversary of the military coup, police say they will bring the hammer down if the protest goes outside of the university, since it would then be a violation of the political gathering ban. Deputy Police Chief Srivara Ransi Brahmanakul told reporters over the weekend that police will strictly enforce the government's ban on political gatherings of five or more people, saying they're monitoring all, quote, radicals and that violators of the political assembly ban will face six months in jail. For weeks, a pro-election group has been threatening to march towards the government house on May 22nd, the fourth anniversary of the military coup, tomorrow on Tuesday, demanding that national elections be set for November instead of February. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket Extra will be right back, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Phuket Governor Norapa Plotong is setting his sights on turning the 200-year-old Bangrong community in Paklok into a new tourist attraction to bring valuable financial support to the community's residents. The community is one of 10 local communities currently being considered to become tourist attractions with public hearings now underway and he's already met with several community leaders on Saturday saying they hope more than 50,000 visitors will take a trip to the 10 communities each year. Activities like mangrove tours and kayak trips are already in the works to help lure tourists, though it's not yet been revealed what other non-local Phuket communities are being considered to be turned into tourist attractions. The Thai government is being urged to allow foreigners to own a majority stake of any business in Thailand. That's a push by the chairman of the Joint Foreign Chambers of Commerce in the kingdom. Currently, foreign ownership of Thai businesses are capped at 49% under Thailand's Foreign Business Act, the FBA. And Stanley Kang, the JFCC chairman, is saying the government's push to lure foreign investment into the kingdom makes this the perfect time for the law to change. Without a change to the law, Kang says attracting foreign investment will, quote, be quite tough, though there seems to be some interest from local state agencies to amend the current laws. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. 
And that's it for Phuket Extra today. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thanks for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. You're much stronger than you think, and with help, you're unstoppable. The fitness studio at Laguna Golf Academy Phuket is designed to optimize your performance no matter your lifestyle. At the Academy, lessons with trackman analysis for all skill levels are perfect to help find the kinks in your game. With a personalized plan from our certified fitness instructor and his nutritional tips, nothing's stopping you. A sports science approach to make you better, faster, stronger.